Hello folks, uh, today it is uh, P5 work. Um, I gave this question to students in one of the colleges I work in this uh, mock-up examinations and uh, uh, after going through what they have done, I felt it, it is good to uh, give, a, uh, give a solution there. Uh, so I myself did the solution and I'll be going through, through it. And today is also the starting of uh, holidays in schools and colleges. So I thought it is uh, better to uh, better to uh, give some tutorials from uh, from online itself, online itself, so that uh, students can uh, benefit sitting at their homes, and they find it something useful to watch. Except for all these uh, coronavirus updates and uh, hoaxes and uh, and rumors and uh, and uh, uh, a lot of things. So it just kills our mind. So let's start. Uh, it says that. Uh, so this belongs to 2017, October, November, October, November, uh, paper 5.3, and the question number is 2, of course. So it says, uh, it says, a student is investigating how the forces acting on a bridge. Bridge vary as the position of the load on the bridge is changed. Load here. The bridge is modeled as shown in figure 2.1 with 2 newton meters, newton meters, providing the support forces. A load of mass M is placed at a distance X from support A. Support A. The readings of the newton meters T1 and T2 are recorded for different values of X. So we vary X and we record their values. It says that, that T1, um, T2, and X are related by the equation somewhat like this, where S is the separation between the newton meters and G is the accident of free fall. A graph is plotted of T1 and minus T2 uh, on the y-axis and X on the y-axis, of course. So the first thing is to derive expressions for the brain and the y-intercept. So what we do is first we uh, multiply this thing, multiply this thing, which gave us this. Uh, then uh, we add this thing, so it gives minus two mgx. Then we separate uh, the quantity with x, so like this, this thing. So you can see the work out here, work out here, and it gives us uh, the gradient is equal to minus two mg by s, and the uh, y-intercept as uh, c. Here I did not use the a letter a letter a letter uh, m for grain because we have m mass here as well as well so in the next page next page i have i have yeah so this is the table so values of uh, values of x t t1 and t2 are as given in figure 2.2 uh, x is in meters uh, t1 and t2 are given here the uncertainties are 0 0.1 the values are given so uh, we have to find calculate and record values of t1 minus t2 slash newton in figure 2 by 2 include the absolute uncertainties in t1 minus t2 so these are the values here the first uh, let me work out the first value so t1 minus t2 is simply i have i have uh, t1 is 6.9 6.9 minus t2 is 1.4 so it gives me 5.5, 5.5 here. And the answer is, uh, here it is uh, very easy. It's because just a uh, uh, minus quantity here. The answer adds up, so that is 0 0.2, 0 0.2. And everywhere it is 0 0.2 because the answer is 0 0.1. And everywhere we have to do the same thing for you know, finding the value. So in the last thing, we have got a 4.6 uh, minus um, 3.3 which gives us 1.3. So if you go through all these things, uh, we'll find this thing. Uh, okay, not so difficult thing. Now, plot the graph of T1 minus T2 and against X meter, X slash in meter, include error bars for T1 and T2. So the graph is ready with me, graph is ready with me. So let me turn the graph, yeah, so this. So the first thing is, uh, first thing is uh, we have got uh, 5.5 so at 0 0.100 it is 5.5 so at 0 0.100 that means uh, at 0 0.100 it is 5.5 .5. so this is 5.5 i have used a very small dot very small dot in a small circle and as usual the circle should be such that the circle should be such that so if i have got uh, i have got lines as this 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 the circle should have should have it's a uh, it's a radius equal to half of the division 
rate is equal to half the division and uh, and uh, the the the, uh, the point should not be more than half millimeter in diameter the point itself should not be more than half millimeter in diameter so this is 5.5 at 0 0.1 the second is uh, the second is at 0 0.16 it is 4.6 so at a 0 0.16 so from here to a 0 0.2 it is a uh, uh, 0.1 difference so here we have got to uh, point, uh, point uh, sorry it is a point 0.1 it is point zero five difference so uh, after two uh, digits here I'll have a difference of 0 0.01 so here what I have is uh, 0 0.16 here so this is 0 0.15 and it should be 0 0.16 so from 0 0.16 at 0 0.16 I have got uh, 4.6 I have got this 4.6 so this is 4.6 so as you go on plotting uh, I have the several plots here several plots here the size of the dots are almost same and the size of the circles also almost same and the last one last one is uh, at 0 0.400 I've got to 1.3 so at a 0 0.400 I have got 1.3 so this is 1.0 1.1 1.2 1.3 1 1.3 so the plotted points then I, uh, I I call it the error bar here so for error bar what you have is the error is 0 0.2 in every case so what I do is I go through this here so from here to here it is uh, uh, 0 0.5 so 0 0.5 is 10 divisions so 1 should be 10 by 0 0.5 and 0 0.2 should be 10 by 0 0.5 into 0 0.2 equal to 4 divisions. So my error bars are everywhere it is 4 division up, 4 division down. So everywhere same, symmetrical. And uh, the upper bar here is 1 division here, 1 division here. So it is 2 divisions altogether. So almost same in everything. Everything I made it very, very symmetrical. And I am very much serious about uh, making it symmetrical. Now the question is, uh, in try error bars. Draw the straight line of best fit and the worst acceptable straight line on your graph. Both lines should be clearly labeled. So I have to draw the best fit and the worst fit. So while I draw this, let me use my scale here. Let me use my scale here. So this time, the line is not so... Uh, it doesn't exactly lie in the uh, straight line. So what I have done is... I have done is... So I have... So this is my best line. My best line. So while doing this, what I mean was... This point is at the right of this this point left of this this point also left this point left this right and this right so three points to the left and three points to the right and the average distance to the right and the average to the left are also almost equal so that's how i drew the best line and the worst line also so in the worst line i had to do either from top to bottom here or bottom to uh, top here but uh, there are some complications Communications here because uh, the worst line has to pass through all the error bars all the error bars So that made things uh, a bit complex and it's always like that We don't uh, take it seriously, but it's always like that. So what I do is let me first to uh, Connect the lowest point to the highest point here highest point. So when I do this when I do this when I try to do this Yeah, so this is the top line of this middle point bottom line uh, of the middle point so this is okay this error bar this line will not cross through this error bar you can see here you can see here will not cross this error bar so it's not fine and then from here to when i draw from here to here here to here also what happened was 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 this line also was skipped was skipped so what should i do so if i do this and do this and do this Again, this line is not included. This is not included. So what I did was, so I went to this thing. So when I do this, when I do this, this is skipped. So what I did was, did was from here I came here, so that it touches this. It touches this. So if I do so, if I do so, this is crossed. This is touched, crossed, 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 crossed. So this became my worst line. So this is something fishy here. This is something fishy here. So this becomes my worst fit line. So, so, so if you just do this, it will be wrong. It will be wrong because it skips this. So we have to be very much careful when you draw the worst lines here. So and then uh, I, have to, I have to draw the triangles here for, uh, for taking the slopes. So this same line crosses this and this. 
coordinates are like this so this line is this is 0 0.4 0 0.41 0 0.42 so it is 0 0.4 0 and here it is 0 0.5 0 0.6 0 0.7 0 0.8 0 0.9 so it is 0 0.9 0 0.90 and here also it is 0 0.40 because it's here and so on now uh, I have to calculate the slope in the next next thing here so define the range of the line of best fit include the absolute uncertainty in your answer so I selected points like this for best line for best line uh, my points are x1 y1 best so x1 y1 best is so this is the best line best line so this is uh, x and y1 for the best line it is 0 0.145 4 0.75 so I have written here 0 0.145 4 0.75 for worst it is it is this one this point 0 0.145 and 4 0.70 so 0 0.145 uh, 0 0.45 4 0 0.70 and then x2 y2 in this case it is for the baseline 0 0.420 0 0.90 so it is uh, 0 0.420 0 0.90 and for the worst it is 0 0.430 0 0.90 so 0 0.430 0 0.90 now uh, I went to calculations so my question is like uh, that so base to uh, the gradient of the baseline is equal to so let me use the word let me use the word here word uh, it is a gradient of b so grade grad b and let me use the word uh, grad grad worst and this is delta grad gradient so uh at the collision so it becomes a uh, point uh, i used uh, uh, I'll do six sigmoid figures, and here when do the collisions, I did uh, like this. Then uh, this delta m is magnitude only, so whatever the value, it will be plus. It came like this, so I need to use it in one SF or two SF. So I selected two SF, so it became 0 0.67. I need to write only up to here. So when I round it off, when I round it off, it becomes uh, it rises 0 0.6, 0 0.67, 0 0.67. So when I write 0 0.67, then I can write only up to this quantity because these things are not sure I cannot break this thing so I can whatever I can break is only this it is either 14.6 14.6 or 7 .6 or 7 uh, or it can go back to uh, 13 point something so down to something so just uh, this can be predicted these things cannot be predicted so that's why I can write only up to here so it's 14.0 plus minus 0.67 so I have given a tutorial in my own channel, channel about uh, how to write th these things. So please go through them. Now, the next page we have got, we've got. <coughs> so this is the uh, last page, last page. So in the uh, first number of the last page, we have to find the, determine the intercept of the uh, wide line of best fit include the absolute uncertainty in your uh, answer so random point for coloring c best so i i color this uh, point to be same thing same point as this i can use any so i just uh, uh, learn from the students that i can use the same point here so this is the random point i chose for uh, using uh, using finding the best fit line so this thing so c best equal to y best minus m best x best so this is calculations and uh, uh, I can show you the calculation here not so difficult so what I have is let's do this so uh, 4.75 minus 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 plus actually so I can make it uh, plus plus then uh, 14 uh, into 0.145 equal to so it is 6.78 so I used more SFs here and in the second case I've got to uh, this thing so I can use uh, bracket here bracket here so it is uh, 4.7 plus plus 13.3333 uh, into 0.145 bracket close equal to so 6.6333285 so when i found the answer d it became like this and uh, i can write only up to this 2sf maximum so when i round these things up when I round these things up it becomes 5 0.15 
So when I write 0.15, I can write only up to here, only up to here, so it becomes 6.8. So when I round these things up, it is 6.8. Again, uh, I like to remind uh, you uh, to to uh, go through my uh, my channel to find uh, the tutorial on these things. Now, using your answers to A, C3, and C4, determine the values of M and S include appropriate units. So data is equal to this. So we have got gradient is equal to the gradient is equal to from here from this thing equal to minus 2 mg by s so minus 2 mg by yes c equal to mg so c equal to mg here so uh, from second equation we have got c based equal like this m based equal like this so the value is somewhat like this so it is uh, uh, the value is uh, 6.78 divided 9.81 equal to 0 0.691131 uh, so same thing here also here the values and regarding the units so first of all let me find whether these are some specified quantities so in that sense what let me go through this language in the language so it says mass m it says mass m and here we have good meters so this mass m should be in kg in kg so that's why I used mass m as kg and I, I have got this s s is uh, distance and we have got x in meters x in meters so that's why s also should be in meters that's why i did this so no need to go through uh, the units of uh, slope the units of intercept and so on it is simply that to uh, we first know the quantities and then directly go for the units the remainder percentage is in m and s so uh, going through this formula its uh, percentage should be equal to its percentage density plus its percentage is uncertainty. So that's why I did like this. Uh, and there is no uncertainty in G. G, nothing given. So that's why it's zero. Only this. So when I did the calculation, it came like this. So it is, uh, let's do the calculations here. Uh, 0 0.1466715 divided 6.78 equal to uh, into 100 is equal to 2.163 16329 and so on so i wrote just 2.3 and this becomes 2.2 because in 2sf we have to write this in maximum 2sf so it is 2.2 i i have to write only up to this up to this then again uh in s so for s we have got uh, the person already in this is equal to the same thing in this m the same thing in plus this same thing in this plus same thing in this so like this this is zero zero so it is just what we did plus this is delta ingredient is equal to uh, is equal to we have done this in the previous thing is equal to this much this much so i have used this much and the value is this much so this much so when i do this thing it becomes equal to so this 2.16 is from here it is from here in 200 so this plus plus so not into this is a plus plus this only plus 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 so what i do is uh 0.666666 into 100 divided 14 bracket equal to yes yeah, 6.92 something 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 92 uh, 925 something so that's why i just wrote up to here it is 6.9 percentage so folks so this is how i did the complete solution of uh, this thing hope that uh, uh, hope that you can uh, you can follow the same pattern same pattern and uh, do this on your own as well so every step has been clearly explained so you can repeat this often until you get uh, the uh, proper treatment of your own thank you